Okay, this is a tech review video and I'm gonna go for a run. Ready? Watch the drone, no control. This, uh, this is the Skydio 2 drone. Now, this is a super compelling drone for a lot of reasons, but I think maybe the number one reason is that it is not made by DJI. DJI completely dominates the Droneiverse. Basically, if you own a drone and it's worth a damn, it's made by DJI. The only drone that I use in this entire channel, in every video, all those how to get that shot shots, were shot in a DJI. It's a great product, but just like TikTok, there are some geopolitical concerns with DJI, the Chinese company. Not my concerns, the US government's concerns. See what that says right there? Assembled in the USA. And this, well, this isn't a uh, political video or anything like that. The politics of drones in the United States is a very interesting part of the story. And it's Skydio, the company that makes this blue plastic drone that has a, a big contract with the US military to make little flying military drones for them. I found all that fascinating, but Let's talk about this device here. Firstly, at $999, the price is wildly compelling, especially because it has a 4K60 chip on it or whatever, it can record at 4K60. The lens is actually very good. The lens is threaded so you can put ND filters on it and it feels like this time around, Skydio really put a lot of effort into making sure this could take a picture that at minimum could compete with, with DJI's offering, and I think it does. And while the arms on this thing don't fold the way the arms fold on a DJI, the, the propellers, they fold, so you can cram this in a backpack in the same way that you could break down your DJI into a backpack. The case that I use for the Skydio with an extra battery is about the same size as the case that I use for the controller, an extra battery for the DJI. And even though this thing is this cute blue color, I did wear a shirt to match it on purpose, um, it doesn't feel like a toy. This feels like a sort of like a robust kind of tool the same way the DJI does or any like camera does. I must admit at first I was nervous about the way the Skydio's battery attaches to the, the camera, the drone itself, but it, it works really well and I'm confident now. Ready? Magnets. Getting into like drone ideology or filmmaking ideology, like how you think of a device like this fitting into like your wheelhouse of cameras. For me, it goes like this. I don't think of a drone as a drone, as in like an artificially intelligent flying person that can take pictures of me. For me, it's a, it's a flying camera. So I'll fly it to location, I'll put it there, and I'll get my shot. Or I'll fly it to a location, and I'll sort of set marks, and I'll control it manually to get the shot that I want. Just like any other camera in my arsenal, I'm in control, and I'm trying to get a specific image. Yes, it's got technology to think for itself and to avoid 
objects and to keep it stable and to lock to GPS, but all that stuff is invisible to me. I feel like I'm in control, I'm getting my picture. And quite frankly, that's what it feels like this thing was designed to do. Now, that's also where Skydio, it feels like, is really differentiating itself. Well, this thing can sort of do that. There's like a controller, I have it. For extra money, you can attach this kind of janky, bulky, plastic PlayStation controller looking thing that's supposed to offer precision controls, but I didn't really like its precision or lack thereof. This thing is a drone in the most Terminator sense of the word drone. This is that Terminator-like AI I was talking about. No hands. like a cobweb during that little run around there. One area where you can see that Skydio is very much so a, a young company is in like the user interface on their app, like the, the controller for the actual drone. DJI's feels very mature, like polished, good. It's everything you want it to be. And Skydio's sort of feels like DJI's did a couple years ago. Like it, it's a little rough around the edges. When Skydio is doing what Skydio does best, which is like be a flying Terminator camera, it is the best, but when you want to use it like a camera, the way I use my other drone, that's where it's, uh, that's where it's, uh, it still has a lot of room to grow. My rule with drone cinematography is that if it looks like it was captured by a drone, I don't use the shot. I want it to look like it was on a crane. I want it to look like it was a helicopter. I want it to look like I climbed above a building and stuck a 50 foot tripod out and that's how I got the shot. I don't like cinematography that looks robotic or unnatural. And that in essence is what the superpower or the killer app of the Skydio 2 is, is that it is a robot that can capture for you and do it in a way that I don't think anything else in the market can even compete with. So if something like action sports is your priority or you're new to drone cinematography and, and you lack confidence in your ability to operate a flying camera, I think this might be the perfect drone for you. But to anyone more advanced than that or anybody who's familiar with how to actually operate a drone in a, like a manual capacity, uh, it, it still feels like Skydio has a lot of catching up to do in that department. Also, I'm like filming this in my backyard right now um, because when I was shooting it in the woods, I dropped my camera and, and broke it. For the DJI. This lens costs $3,000.